you about my nail care products um, as well as my weekly nail routine. So I'm really, really excited to be filming this video for you because I absolutely love anything that is nail related. Nail varnishes, treatments, cuticle oils, hand masks, serums, the list goes on. I absolutely love, love, love nail products and anything nail related. So. This is my passion and I'm just really excited to be sharing all of these products with you and maybe you can incorporate them into your daily or weekly routine and let me know how they work for you. Um, and just something a little bit off topic, I am a foodie person. I love food, I love to bake, I love to cook and maybe you can let me know what your favorite item is in the comments below, what makes you really excited when you think about it or when you have it, but I am a scone freak. I don't know why, I just absolutely love scones. Whenever we're traveling, I have to go out and search a place that makes scones. Last year in Rome, of all the foods that I probably could have had, which was anything authentically Italian, I craved scones. So we had to go and find a little place that made scones and we found this little Victorian restaurant and I was just the happiest girl in the world because I was just eating my favorite food item and I have a lot of favorite food items but one of them is scones so maybe you can let me know in the comments below what your favorite food item is what makes you just really excited when you think about it when you have it um, maybe it's a favorite childhood item that you eat or that your mom used to make for you for a birthday or an anniversary just anything just let me know in the comments below whatever makes you happy when you have it the world is a better place and you're just super happy. So mine is scones. I had scones this morning. I made homemade scones and I'm still very, very happy after having them. So let me know what your favorite food item is. Anyway, enough rambling. This is after all a beauty makeup channel. So let's get on with it. So first things first, um, I do Every Friday I do a nail routine and it is something that I absolutely love. It's my me time. I find it really relaxing and therapeutic. It's kind of like practicing mindfulness. I don't think about anything else when I'm doing my nails. And it is something that I set aside like clockwork every single Friday after work. And I sit down and I do my nails. So the first thing that I do is obviously I remove the week's worth of nail varnish and I don't use acetone remover or nail varnish remover I just find it's very drying on the nails on the cuticles on the hands so I just like to use um, a brand from Cutix and this is the nourishing nail polish remover so I'll first go in and I'll remove my old nail varnish with this and then something that I like to do is I like to use olive oil good old-fashioned olive oil it can be extra virgin or can just be virgin olive oil, it doesn't have to be extra virgin. But I like to pour this in a little cup, enough so that I get to just soak just the tops of my nails um, in the cup. So I like to pour this into a cup, soak my nails in there for 15-20 minutes and it is just really really great to nourish your nails it makes your nails really really strong um, it's just it puts nutrients and nourishment back in so i love to do that first after, obviously after i've taken my nail varnish off i'll soak them for 15 20 minutes after that i'll use the excess olive oil because you don't want to throw it away you don't want to waste it so i'll use the leftover olive oil mixed in with a little bit of brown or white sugar and i'll make a nice hand scrub with that I'll basically go all over my hands, massage it into my cuticles, I'll rinse that off, and then I'll use a hand mask. Um, and I don't have one with me, I've used it up, but I'll attach a photo somewhere here. I like to use the one from the Sorbet range, and it's just a nourishing, moisturizing hand mask. And basically it's like two little gloves that you'll just slip on, and in between is a toweling material, and inside the toweling material is like this serum type creamy mask so I like to slip those on and I can basically do whatever I like I'll just sit back and relax or I'll go and do something with them because they dry on the outside and then obviously the serum is on the inside so I'll leave that on for 20 minutes take it off and then you don't want to rinse the excess mask off it'll actually tell you on the back of the pack on the instruction side to massage it in you can massage it into your hands into your cuticles on your arms you can use it on your neck you can use it on your decollete so it's a really really good mask don't rinse it off don't waste it rub it in 
I mean, you know, give your hands and your arms some nourishment. And then what I'll do is, I normally after that, I like to file my nails. And I have found that a glass nail file works really, really well. So I got this one from a company called Shizen. I hope I'm saying it correctly, Shizen or Shizen. And Shizen is actually derived from the Japanese word for natural, and that word is Shizen no. So that means natural, and they're an online company, a local South African company, and they like to use a lot of botanical extracts in all their products, a lot of natural extracts. So I got this glass nail file from them, and the awesome thing about a glass nail file, and you don't have to get one, but I just prefer it to a standard emery board, is that when you do file with it, you tend to not have any snags. So once you've filed your nails, you basically have a very, very smooth free edge. So I got this one, it's a really pretty glass nail file. It comes really beautifully packaged, so basically it slips into this, which protects it, and then you can store it in this, and it's got a little lid. That goes on top so it's really really great it's this is also an investment as long as you look after it um, and you store it correctly you can have this for many many years and I prefer it over an emery board so I normally after I've done my scrub I like to go in and shape my nails and just file them down after that I will then go in with this which is also from Shizen and this is a replenishing serum for hands and this has got kiwi licorice and rosehip oils in and it is divine you can use it at night they suggest that you use it at night I use it whenever wherever five times during the day I just absolutely love this um, and it is an anti-aging serum so it's just really really great for the hands it's just very moisturizing. It leaves your hands feeling really, really silky afterwards. So I absolutely love using this. And you can go onto their online store and you can have a look at all the products that they have there. But this is really great. This is the replenishing serum for hands. So that's basically what I'll do before I start painting my nails. And then before I start painting my nails and after I've done my serum, I'll actually go in with this little buffing kit from the same range. And this is awesome because it's got a little tub of buffing powder um, a hoof stick or a cuticle stick which so it's got the cuticle pusher and then it's got this side where you can basically just remove anything from underneath the nails and around the cuticle area and then it's got a little like a little buffer pre-buffer and then it's got sorry sorry I just had to grab this the little chamois buffer so what you do is You'll first prep your nails with this, and you'll just basically go over the ridge area with it, just lightly buffing. You don't want to be filing away at your nail bed. And then you'll basically just dip your chamois buffer into this powder, and you'll lightly just go over each nail. And what it does is it imparts a really, really stunning shine on the nail, which is a perfect base for when you're going to apply nail varnish. And it comes with basically a little nail buffing kit card. And on it, it'll tell you what the product does, um, and actually, the chamois buffer, along with the powder, encourages increased blood, sorry, blood circulation in the matrix area, which ensures a healthy pink nail with a long-lasting shine, increasing growth and strength. And it really does increase the growth and the strength of your nails. So I would highly recommend trying that out. I use it every single week. So I'll go in with that, and then basically my nails are prepped for when I'm going to start painting them. And the first thing I'll do is I'll go in with a base coat. And I love the base coats from the Jessica range, and I like the Recovery base coat. And it's formulated specifically for brittle or dry nails. So what I'll do is I'll put two coats of that on, and as your nails get a little bit longer, mine are unfortunately short at the moment, but they will grow, they will get longer. As they get longer, you can actually paint this same recovery product on the underside of the nails, and it just reinforces the nails, just helps with the brittleness, helps to put moisture back into your nails. So I'll do two coats of that, and then I like to go in with two of my favorite varnishes, which is either Morgan Taylor, and I also like the Essie, gel varnishes. These are really, really great. You don't have to use a base coat with them, but I still like using a base coat with these. So what I have on my nails today, and unfortunately, I wish you could see this color. It's just, it's not picking up on camera properly. It's actually a really beautiful corally neon shade, but it's kind of coming out like a, a dull 
orangey pink shade but this is called manga round with me from morgan taylor and this is what I've got on my nails this time around. But in the summer, I usually like to go in with these Essie Gel Varnishes. And my two favorites are Lace Me Up and Pre-Show Jitters. And then afterwards, I always go in with either the Essie Top Coat, which is part of this range from the gel range, or I will go in with the Jessica Nail range. And I like to go in with the Brilliance, which is a high gloss in a flesh top coat. And this really gives a super, super shiny finish to the nails. And it just seals and locks in your manicure. So that is what I do and then the final thing that I like to do is I like to go in with either a cuticle oil or just basically a tissue oil and this is a really great tissue oil from BON which is Busby Oils Natel this is a local product it's made in South Africa it's a pure tissue oil that's got avocado grapeseed and rosehip oils in suitable for sensitive skin and it's got no mineral oil and no parabens I mean, this is a tissue oil you can use it on your face you can use it on your hair you can use it on your body i mix it with my body lotion but i love to basically put this on my hands when i'm finished with my whole entire routine i'll put this on my hands i'll massage it into my cuticles massage it into my hands and then i normally go in finally with a really good hand cream and this is a hand cream from the handmade soap company i got this in ireland from avoca I absolutely love that store. So this is a lavender, rosemary, thyme and mint hand cream and it's handmade in Ireland, my favorite place. So I got this and I'm actually running out of this. If you are in South Africa and you do want to order this, you can order it online and they ship it to you really, really quickly. So you can go onto the handmade soap company online store and you can order from them and they do, do ship to South Africa. So that is basically my nail products and how I incorporate them into my nail routine. I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and I just want to leave you with a little side note, a little positive affirmation if you're either starting or you're ending your day. You are your own life-size original and that is what makes you beautiful and unique. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.